unsafe E. coli levels found in Paris's Seine River less than two months before Olympics. Here's a summary of the article. Paris. Water in the Seine River had unsafe elevated levels of E. coli less than two months before swimming competitions are scheduled to take place in it during the Paris Olympics, according to test results published Friday. Contamination levels in the first eight days of June, after persistent heavy rain in Paris, showed bacteria such as E. coli and Enterococci beyond limits judged safe for athletes. The report was published by monitoring group Eau de Paris one day after a senior International Olympic Committee executive said there were no reasons to doubt races will go ahead as scheduled in a historic downtown stretch of the Seine near the Eiffel Tower. We are confident that we will swim in the Seine this summer, IOC official Christophe Duby said Thursday at an online briefing after hearing an update Paris from city officials and Olympic organizers. Europe The Paris Olympics is already facing cybersecurity threats. The safety of the Seine water for the Olympics has been in doubt since some test events scheduled last August were cancelled, also after unseasonal heavy rains. The tests indicated an improvement, from high contamination levels on June 1 to more acceptable levels by June 9, mainly due to improved weather. This post received a score of 8,200, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Paris needs to take a page out of Ratatouille and lock up the health inspector until after the Olympics. I think you mean Rakakuni. My wife forbid me from talking about Rakakuni after that movie LMFAO. I wouldn't STFU Abbott for weeks. Dude, the fact that they took a stupid pun and turned into a moment that contributed to the emotional core of the movie. Perfection. Also Spaghetti Noodle Boy. And it's deleted scenes. Oh shit. I've seen EEAO like four times. Have not watched deleted scenes. New goal. Thank you sir or madam. Most welcome. I think it helps tie up a few loose threads. But the director said that the version released is very much still there. Version and they themselves cut it for length. Rather than being forced to by the studio. This is gonna be a shit show. At this point, I think I find the clusterfuck nature of the Olympics more entertaining than the actual games. I wonder if this one will top the 2016 Rio Olympics. The clusterfuck was the Greece Olympics. The Olympics right after 9-11. Oh boy. Oh in Japan. Forgot about that one. Right after Covid. Or during Covid. Or the Munich ones where terrorists killed some Israeli athletes, hostages. Even the 2008 Beijing Olympics, while grand, had its share of shit behind the scenes, like when they had a seven-year-old lip-sync a song for the opening ceremonies because they thought the girl with the real voice wasn't pretty enough. The government traumatized a girl about her appearance for life just so the CCP could put on a perfect minute-long performance. Remember the Canadian one when it didn't snow? Lol. Same with Sochi if memory serves. I think Sochi is up there in notoriety. Most expensive event of all time, Russian athletes cheated and later got stripped of medals, spotty civil rights record, and straight up used it as a distraction to invade Ukraine four days later. Till the Olympics are in two months. No one watches TV anymore so we can't be spammed with Olympics commercials to remind us. I don't want to have to piece together an event from 20 YouTube clips, or scrub through a three-hour long video or dig through a scattered unorganized pile of all the events from every single sport. I'm sure to people passionate about a sport, and especially for the contestants and all their friends and family and community and fans this is one of the most important events of their lives and they want as much of it as possible and they will make the effort to find it. I'm sure I would watch hours of it if they presented it in a way that massively lowered the barrier of entry for attention span to follow and understand and become truly invested in the outcome of a single event. Like consolidating all the clips from every stage of an event and displaying them in a clear tournament style bracket, and sorting all the many, many events in a clear way where you can just see the ones you're interested in. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.